Hello, it's lovely to be back again. Um, I thought we might start with our old friend Bing Crosby, just because we can. And would you like to swing on a star? <laughs> A mule is an animal with long funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny but his brain is weak, he's just plain stupid with a star with a streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a fig, you may grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. And be better off than you are. Swim in the brook. He can't write his name or read a book. To fool us people is his only thought. And though he's slippery, he still gets caught. But then, if that kind of life is what you wish, you may grow up to be a fish. And all the fun is on the zoo. Every day you meet one of you. So you see, it's all up to you. life lesson for you. Right, what have we got for the next week? Oh gosh, we're throwing you in the deep end. We've got some gentle exercise for you in this next one. Pericomo. We love Pericomo. Catch a falling star. We love that song as well. I'll show you how the arm movements go. Catch a falling star. Put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Catch a falling star, put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. For love may come and tap you on the shoulder some starless night. And just in case you feel you want to hold her, you'll have a pocket full of starlight. Catch a falling star.
when, when it is, when it gives me right, I, I don't want to ever say goodnight, I need you, I want you, baby, I love you, yes I do and I hope you hear me when, when I say, when I say be mine, to this next section is behind me. I'm not going to insult your intelligence, but there's a novice nun, there's a retired sea captain, seven children, and it's all in the mountains in Austria. It can only be the sound of music. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you, thank you so much. Right then, I need you to be honest with me. Who's going to admit that when they were little and there was a thunderstorm in the middle of the night, who got out of bed and ran into their mum and dad's room, jumped into bed with them under the covers until you couldn't breathe anymore? In fact, my sister and I were even worse. We would just lay in our beds and scream until dad had to get out of bed, come and fetch us and carry us into their bed. And by that point, we definitely didn't sing about our favourite things. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favourite things. Cream coloured ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, wild bees that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few. Me, a name I call myself, far 
deserve a rest. I do too. Here's Gareth again. <laughs> Give you my heart, and I'm willing to have. 
Down, wrap myself up, never. 
was a good one, wasn't it? Right, somehow we have made it to the final song. As always, thank you for watching, for singing, for dancing, and whatever else you were doing. Um, could I just give a plug for the 8th of May? Friday, the 8th of May, is the 75th anniversary of VE Day, and we'll be doing a special concert on that day uh, to commemorate that. So, uh, look forward to seeing you then, and in the meantime, we shall leave you with a tale of seven very happy girls and one very miserable fella. Thank you. <laughs>